Greetings, I am Tracy Rollins Seaver, and Catherine Elliott and I welcome you to this midweek service, this Pentecost celebration service. Welcome. Listen to the words of the invitation of the Holy Spirit. O oh God, the Holy Spirit, come to us and among us. Come as the wind and cleanse us. Come as the fire and burn. Come as the dew and refresh. Convict, convert, consecrate. Many hearts and lives to our great good and to thy greater glory. And this we ask for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. I invite you to join me in singing Sweet, Sweet Spirit. We'll sing it through once. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expressions on each face, and I of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here with us. Fill us with your love. And for these blessings we Without a doubt we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. Select the passages from Acts chapter 2. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. I love these first few verses of Acts chapter 2 as the visual imagery of the Holy Spirit filling those who are present within the house. The images of Pentecost, like the individual flames and languages spoken and then understood, and an encounter with God like none other. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the feeling that was in the air? Can you imagine the feeling as the breath of God was powerfully present? And yet, we can. We can still experience moments of Pentecost because the air is still filled with God's presence all around us. Like in the wind that blows the tree branches. In the wind that provides a refreshing breeze in the spring. In the song of a heartfelt spiritual that touches your soul as each stanza is sung. Even in the whisper of a friend that tells you that you are wonderfully made. The breath, the breath of God around us. Maybe our experiences of Pentecost are not the same as the first, but God's Holy Spirit is still present in our world today. God is with us. I, I invite you to breathe in deeply. God is there. I invite you to exhale deeply. God is there. God is, is in this place. Whether we're in the sanctuary or whether we're in our homes or whether we're out in nature taking a walk, God's Holy Spirit surrounds us. Maybe those sights of individual flames are, are not upon us. But maybe if we take a closer look, maybe if we take a closer look at the flames that are burning around us, we will see God. 
the calming peace of a favorite scented candle with its warm glow or the blazing radiance of the sun that provides us with warmth the light the presence of God is with us and maybe today even more than ever maybe we are supposed to be the flames the flames that express God's presence around us to those that we meet maybe it's time that we remember to let our light shine to show the world that God is here and God's Holy Spirit is present we are the flame for others as we shine through the experience of God's presence in our lives every day. Pentecost, the winds of Pentecost continue to fill us. When we realize that the breath of God's breath, God's holy breath is, is surrounding us, then we can powerfully be reminded that we are not alone. Holy Spirit, fill us with your presence. Holy Spirit, fill us like you did on that first day when Pentecost was the breath of God among them. I invite you to now join me in singing Spirit of the Living God. This can be found in your United Methodist Hymnal on page 393. We will sing it one time through. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Psalm 104, verse 4. You make the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. Thank you for joining us and hope that the Holy Spirit will fill you in a powerful way. Let us pray. Dear loving and gracious God, fill us with your Holy Spirit like on that first day of Pentecost. That day when the fires were rested on individual shoulders and languages were understood in a powerful way, help us to understand your word, the message you have for us today. In your son's name we pray. Amen.